In the last microcast, I showed you how to look at memory usage on the Raspberry Pi and provided some Node.js and Python code examples. In this episode, we'll talk about CPU usage and show you how to determine just how hard your ARM processor is working. This information is nice to have, especially if you're trying to figure out if your Pi has enough juice to handle more processes. It can also be handy for profiling different coding libraries to see which one is more efficient with system resources. So last time we saw that the information about memory was found in the proc meminfo file and could be accessed by running the free-m command. Well, the CPU information follows a similar pattern. Linux comes with a built-in utility called top, which will show us information about the load on the CPU along with other things. We run it from the command line by typing top and hitting enter. This shows us quite a bit of information, including the memory usage we saw when we ran the free utility. If you come from a Windows background, right away you'll see that this is a lot like Task Manager. We can see information about the running processes, uptime, and CPU usage. The part we're going to focus on for now, though, is this line right here where it shows percent CPU and has these seemingly random numbers. 0.7 US, 0.7 SY, 0.0 NI, 98.7 ID, and so forth. Well, those are percentages of CPU time spent working on different tasks. Let's go ahead and hit Control C to exit. Screen. As I mentioned earlier, the CPU information follows the same pattern as the memory information in that we can find it in a file. For memory, we looked in proc meminfo, but for CPU information, we're going to look in proc stat. So let's go ahead and do that with the cat command like we've done before. As with memory, we get a bunch of stuff here, but what we want to focus on is the very first line that starts with CPU. On systems with multiple processors, you'll see a line after the first CPU line for each processor on the system. In the case of our Raspberry Pi, it's just the one ARM chip we're looking at, so the CPU and CPU zero lines will be the same. But what do all of these numbers mean? Let's ask our Pi. If we do man proc, it will open up some documentation for us. As it says here, the following outline gives a quick tour through the proc hierarchy. Now, instead of scrolling down through this, we can search for what we're looking for simply by typing slash proc slash stat. That will take us right to the section we need. It shows us an example of the line CPU 33570 and it says the amount of time measured in units of user hertz that the system spent in user mode, user mode with low priority, otherwise known as nice, system mode, and the idle task, respectively. Now, we can also see here that depending on the Linux kernel that we're running, we'll see various columns that essentially tell us how long the CPU has been engaged in different tasks since it was powered up. That's it. Now we have everything we need to programmatically extract CPU usage information and use it in our projects. We probably don't want to know how long the CPU has been doing different tasks, though. Usually just having a percentage for the current CPU usage is sufficient. So how do we figure that out? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Here's the example Node.js code that I wrote. I've attached a Python version as well. The first thing we do is open up and read the proc slash stat file. The CPU is considered working when it's spending time on anything other than the idle state. So all we really need to do is add up all of the columns from the CPU line and subtract the idle time. I've used a regular expression to extract all of the times and then just loop through them and add them together to get the total and specifically pick out the ones that I consider idle time. Subtracting the idle time from the total leaves us with the active time. If we divide that by the total, we'll have the percentage of the time the CPU has been working. Now, if we just do that once with the numbers from the stat file, all we really know is how active the processor has been since the Pi was turned on. What you probably want, though, is a real-time average. That's why I call this calculate CPU percentage function. In it, I simply subtract the current CPU values from the last ones that I read and divide the active time difference from the total difference. That way we get a more accurate picture of the CPU load right now. So let's go ahead and minimize this and show it working. I'm going to CD into this directory here. We'll do node 
pi underscore stats dot js. As you can see, my processor is not very taxed at all right now. It has a little jump right at the beginning, presumably because of the uh, process that we just launched. But let's put some load on the CPU by doing something simple like pulling down a Git repository. I'm going to leave this running. I'm going to pull another window over here. And I'm just going to download one of my Git repositories. So we'll do git clone. Now when I hit enter here, let's watch the CPU usage. You can see it start to go up there as it starts to pull the files down. It even pegs out there a little bit. And then when it's done, we should see it go right back down. Perfect. You can find the Node.js and Python code for this microcast below. If you're watching on YouTube, clicking the link in the notes will take you to the page with the code samples. As always, if you have questions or need a little help, feel free to shoot me an email or message me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and happy hacking!